Virginity is the dirtiest thing. When self-hate touches everything I think about, the truth is I like women. Lust, men, and love is nowhere to be found. A friend asks, why do single celibate people spend so much time in front of a mirror in their underwear? And I have an answer now. The true test of a man's character is what he does in the dark when no one is watching. Like when I'm alone, can I possibly believe I'm worthy of being touched? And when a mirror licks my skin truthful, will I try to wipe away what I see? Does someone have to see me to love myself? For so long, there has been a pattern in my life. When I get attention, my back prickles with satisfaction. I hate that I am this needy. I fold under flattery like a victim's back in a horror movie. As a scientist, it is easy to detach. There is experimentation, and there is an experiment. When I am attracted to someone, I don't see a heart. I see parts and a hypothesis. I see what would happen instead of where is this going. To be in the middle about this issue is to stand on the yellow line of a two-way road and know that everyone will veer away from such a potential accident. And doesn't everyone love a good pileup as long as they aren't a part of it? I feel like a leper, a monster, a myth, something that is beautiful when you have faith it doesn't exist. Did you know the word basilisk translates to little king in Greek? That it is a serpent that can kill with a single glance? Did you know? The name Ryan translates to Little King as well. When I introduce myself to you and I don't look at you directly, I am only trying to protect you. When I constantly deliver my topics and tangents, I'm trying to open a door in a garage with the car ever running. One of the few ways a basilisk dies is by looking into a mirror. When I look into my own eyes, I'm wondering whether the mirror or I will shatter first, my skin molts away, and I am somehow still standing. I am allergic to dust which is to say I'm allergic to dead things, which is to say my body holds on to what hurts me. My life since puberty has been a body of bumps, my pores, pack rats, clinging to what no longer wants to be a part of me. There is regeneration and there is repulsion. I feel like my body does both every day and this, this is what a myth becomes. Generation after generation, a burial, until there is more dead me than alive me. After all this, Will your faith in me depend on you not believing in me? Will I make myself the myth by not having faith in me either? <laughs>